This year, the Diamond League has been on fire. With three world records last time out in the Paris Diamond League, it would be hard to follow that hype up for the Oslo Diamond League. One thing that was the same was the crowds. Two sellout crowds in a row. Yet again, the Diamond League is seriously impressed with some major standout performances in the 1500, 5000 and the 400 meter hurdles. Here's the breakdown. In the women's 400 meter hurdles, Femme Cabal ran 52.30 seconds, which would have been a world record just a few years ago. Now it's not surprising at all from Bowl. She remains undefeated this year. Heptathlete Anna Hall seems to be doing every event possible right now in the Diamond League circuit, and she was fifth in 55.28 seconds. In the men's 400 meters, Wade Van Niekerk has the most expensive watch in the field with his Richard Millie on his wrist. He was also the fastest in the field, clocking 44.38 to take the win. The world record holder for the 400 meters, it's great to see him back in action. In the women's 3000 meters, the pace was set for 8.31, and it was Alicia Monson who took responsibility of keeping the pace respectable once the pacemakers had dropped out. She did enough to hold on to fourth place in 8.29, with Beatrice Chabet closing like a demon to take the win in 8.25. In the men's 200 meters, Erin Knighton led from gun to tape, running a brilliant bend, finishing in 19.77 seconds. Knighton now has the 10 fastest times in history by someone under the age of 20. The 11th fastest time belongs to no other than Usain Bolt. In the women's dream mile, we knew the race was going to be a hot pace when the first lap was clocked at 62 seconds. With 600 metres to go, 17-year-old Halom was the only one to continue to follow the wave lights paced at 4 minutes and 17 seconds. Even though Halom did slow in the final 200 compared to a fast charging Jessica Hull and Corey Ann McGee, Halom did take the victory in a new world under 20 record and a meeting record of 4 minutes 17.13 seconds. In the men's 5,000 metres, another stacked field for the 5k race. With the 234 first 1,000 metres, we knew the plan was to run a fast race and that was certainly on. It was Kip Limo who pushed the pace when the pace had dropped out, going through 3,000 metres in 7 minutes and 47 seconds. It was Yomif Kajelcha who powered past Jacob Kip Limo with 800 metres to go. Kajelcha, in classic Kajelcha fashion, pushes anyone who's trying to overtake him out into lane 3. And after a photo finish, it was Kajelcha who managed to run 1241.73 to Kip Limo's second place in 1241.73 with the tightest of photo finishes. That's the fifth fastest of all time in the 5,000 metres. Now dropping back down in distance, in the women's 100 metres, 34-year-old Mary Josie Talou dominates from start to finish with an electric start and drives away from a world-class field, including Sharika Jackson and Dina Asher-Smith. Her final time was a meeting record of 10.75, just off of her absolute best. In the 400 metre hurdles, hometown favourite Warholm is back after his troubled 2022. Now he may look like he tied up in the last 100 metres, but he still ran a 46.52 which would have smashed the world record back in 2021. It was the fourth fastest time in history, faster than when he broke the world record at Oslo two years ago. And finally, in the blue ribbon event around out the evening in the men's 1500 meters, it was possibly one of the best 1500s of all time. The only one comparable is the Monaco Diamond League in 2015. Neil Gawley ran 330.38 and came 10th. Jakob Ingebrigtsen won in a time of 327.95, closing in a 41 second last 300 meters. That is a new European record. Jared Nagus's 329.02 was also an American record, and Ollie Horse 329.41 was an Australian record. Narve Nordos has become the second person from Norway to run sub 330, but he also is from Sands, like Jakob Ingebrigtsen, and Nordos is coached by Gert Ingebrigtsen. Brits Josh Kerr and Neil Gawley both ran 330, which isn't bad for the 1500 metre season opers, and it's going to be interesting to see how the Brits fare as we lead closer to Budapest. One thing's for certain, times are fast this year, Diamond League's are fire this year, and the stadiums look packed. I'm excited for the rest of the season.